I discovered jump math uh, when I went to teach at the High Polo Community School and we were looking at something to help us with the mathematics. John's book, The Myth of Ability, um, I read that and I was just so impressed because I knew that out there teachers like myself were really concerned that children were failing within the system and that there was very little that we appeared to be able to do for them. So a call, phone call to John and he actually came out to our community and that's where Jump Math in BC started. I've been invited to many communities from the Haida Gwaii to Bella Bella to Merritt to Kitkatla and as I travel around I meet some incredible teachers, teachers who are really keen to help their children, teachers who are frustrated as well. The fact is that many, many teachers feel that they cannot reach and teach all the children and they don't want to leave the lower group behind. And so when I go out and I do workshops, we look at strategies to engage students, things that you can do with children to re-engage them, to make them more excited about learning the math. And one of the things is also is to look at how do you scaffold information? How do you break down information so that you don't overwhelm children? And one of the best parts of my job is that when we finish the workshop, I'll often get emails or a phone call from teachers who are just pumped and excited about teaching again. And that is the best part for me. When a teacher phones or an elder phones or a parent phones and says, guess what? We are having, we're just enjoying math. It's been such a, an inspiration and we love jump math. And that's what it's all about. I've seen such changes in children who are labeled as slow learners. Um, when they come across the jump math material, because it is so symbolic and because it is guided teaching and teachers are made aware of what skills are needed for the child to be successful, you find that suddenly they're having success at school. Suddenly math becomes the priority for them, they get excited and they want to come to school. And that's what we want to do. We want to make children excited about math again. I'm so tired of hearing it from teachers and parents and children that they hate math because it just makes no sense to them. The teacher manual really lays out methods of teaching, various methods, not just one way. And that's really exciting because suddenly they're able to do revision, build it in as part of their lesson, and then take the children to the next level. The scaffolding of, of information is really important. They learn also how not to overwhelm students. And then once the students have got the actual uh, material, the teacher then has got strategies to take them to the next level. You don't want to bore children. You want to make them as excited as possible about mathematics, and you want to get them into the, the problem-solving situation. Now, problem-solving. Children don't learn math skills through osmosis or diffusion or by being given manipulatives that cost you thousands of dollars. Children learn from good teachers. The role of the teacher is absolutely essential. There are a number of strategies that we, we lay out and we help them and we encourage teachers to teach strategies and then to encourage problem solving within that. Children learn the problem solving once they have strategies that they have practiced and then they can apply them in unknown situations. Any teacher anywhere in the world can access this material. You simply have to go to our website and register and you can get the material for, for the grades. We go from grade 1 to grade 8. These are actually your assessment tools. Now in every grade we've got two of them. We've got a book 1 and a book 2. Uh, from grade 3 up to grade 8, the book one does revision because one of the things that Jump believes is that children forget. At the beginning of every teacher manual, you will have a mental math section. Mental math is really important. It's not a drill and kill exercise, it's a drill and thrill. You as a teacher have to make this exciting. You have to teach children about the patterns. Jump math works a lot on uh, making children aware that numbers have patterns and it teaches them to really look for those patterns and that's exciting. Once they've been through some of the exercises, they're never the same. If you've got children that aren't reading, go and have a look in our grade one two, and two books. There are sections there that really focus on core patterns. Core patterns are essential because children need to be taught how to decode to be able to read. If a child is not reading, I would suggest that you actually take them back and you do math. It's a lot easier to make a child confident and feel empowered and pumped up about it learning if you use numbers. Numbers are symbolic, it's a lot easier. If your child has got a reading problem, very often they immediately have a math problem because they cannot read the textbook. So we have taken that into consideration and you will notice that we have very little language in our books. We have a lot of math in our books, however. If a child or 
an adult has lost confidence, it's really difficult to work with them. And so the first thing that you have to do is to build up their confidence. And with children at school, we often see that children by grade three have lost confidence and they've already decided that they can't do math. Well, that's not true. The other thing is, as parents, you really need to watch what you say to your children. I mean, very often we make excuses. We simply say, you know what, your dad couldn't do math and I can't do math, so therefore you don't have a hope of doing mathematics. So you just can relax. I'll speak to your teacher and I'll tell her that you're genetically challenged with mathematics. Well, that's not true. Everybody can do it. You just need to have good teachers. And I know that we have outstanding teachers. By using our confidence building exercises and our mental math exercises, you will see even the most math phobic child comes alive. They start thinking that they can do it. They start attending. They start listening to you as a teacher. And best of all, they start enjoying the math. And that's what we're all about. When teachers are empowered and they have the tools to teach effectively, miracles happen in classes. Teachers are happy. Children are happy. And parents are happy because their ch children are actually getting it. So my advice to you is like, go out, look at the materials. We always say there's not one way to teach mathematics. There are many, many outstanding programs out there. But Jump Math is one of the best programs that I've come across. And the best, of course, is the fact that you can access these materials and you can become a better teacher. Elementary school teachers have got a very difficult job. Many of them are frustrated because they cannot reach and teach all their children. Many of them are finding that they always have a group at the bottom end of the class that just is not getting the mathematics and they're frustrated by the programs that they're using. Um, it's been so interesting to see how teachers have come out and mobilized themselves and have started to use the Jump Math material and they are excited. They've got a set of tools that they can use that really do work. The Jump Math program was created by John Mighton for Canadian teachers and Canadian children. It is being used all over the world, from China, Bulgaria, Korea, South Africa. In South Africa, we have four outreach programs with children there. The Herschel um, Girls School and the Springfield Girls School are both doing uh, tutoring clubs using the Jump Math material. So you can take this material, you can use it anywhere. We encourage it. That's what we're here for. We want people to, be, to have the tools to be able to really teach effectively. Early numeracy is absolutely vital. You have to start empowering parents to work with their children before they even come to school. You have to give them the tools to teach them about what vocabulary is necessary, what games and activities they can play, so that when their children come to school, they actually have got some basic number sense that you can then work from. It's also really important my, my best audiences are the grade one, two, and three teachers. Those are the people in your school that are laying the foundations. So support them, make sure that they have all the tools that they need, um, and you will find that if you do that with grade one, two, and three, your job in grade four, five, six, seven, eight is much easier because the children have already mastered basic number facts. Parents and community leaders are worried about their children. Many, many children are failing math. They're dropping out at grade 10, and this is a major problem. If a student drops out in grade 10, they cannot do many, many jobs. So doors are closed to them. So if you have a student that is struggling, please do not give up on them. Get your parents involved in math education. Have evenings where you can do events, invite them in, tell them about the program, tell them about what you're trying to achieve, get them on board when you're trying to teach basic number facts. They can be great at providing confidence building exercises at home, um, talking, doing the math language, using the vocabulary, but you have to empower those parents. You have to get them on board. We want to make young people mathematicians. JUMP stands for Junior Undiscovered Math Protégé, and that's why we, we do what we do.